so fragile fragile uh like i said it dropped yesterday um it took a while for me to pay it off because it was quite a, expensive for me because you know i have i'm running a business so i gotta like spend fr frugally but i have been i was a bit crazy at this point i think it might have been february when i did this one this purchase um so yeah and it's my own purchase but the reason i got it for was because i wanted it as a display piece for our plunge convention which is coming up because i wanted to show kids or you know or elderly i'm um, you know elderly older folks right adults and young kids how comics over time have value to them the art the writing um the covers uh the characters that appear in them i wanted to show them that like physically show them uh a really you know a valuable comic as such um but two of my favorite like two two favorite brands i should say or uh comic series or whatever uh and so i spent my own money on this and but of course i had the ulterior motive that i was going to show it as a showcase uh piece so that you know that we can get the the thing is like i'm all about education most of the time and i think that's why you know i'm always you know yabbering on even like now you can hear me i'm talking about this and that a little bit of information here and there about what i think but also about what i've learned so the, the thing is that it's very well very well packaged because the seller is very uh knowledgeable and he's a collector himself he's a comic collector himself and he sells a lot of comics and um oh my goodness <laughs> all right so like bubble wrap as well as uh polystyrene foam pieces and these are my f and or the one of the other things is um i wasn't so much um it wasn't so much for me i think in a sense wasn't so much for me about the comic itself oh i guess it was like 80 thing 80 percent or something but i think i, I kind of um no it was it was about the comic and the fact i could afford it well i thought i mean put me in a bit of a lurch i had to do some wheeling dealing but um but because i didn't have one of these and like i said because i wanted to display them i want to have kids be able to hold my comic that's very expensive or well, expensive enough but also old also um you know you know written by classic uh, not the classic sorry the um, the greats i should say so um let's start with something different so this is one of them and i haven't decided if it if i should give it away as a present or if i should keep it for myself because this thing is very close to my heart um and that's one of the reasons i bought it and so it's it's a tough thing but i guess it's my birthday in a month well no it's less than a month it was my sister's birthday yesterday that means it's 20 less than 20 days away well three weeks less than three weeks maybe something like that. i don't know it's my birthday i'll be 49. so this is roy thomas story john boshima and ernie chan cover and art this is king conan number one 7.5 cgc my first ever cgc along with the other one my first ever two cgc's uh this is number one as i said and you can see the back there star trek the, the human uh, the motion picture the first one right which means this is even more important to me as well because both of these things had a huge impact on my life i used to i used to read the novels of um, conan after i saw the movie with my dad or maybe i didn't see it with my dad oh no i did i did uh and um my dad was dad was a 
big Grace Jones fan musically. And uh, I think she was in either Barbarian or I think she was in Barbarian. I can't remember now. But anyway, so this is Fantasy Field first issue face to face with Thought Amon. That. I actually think I had a friend surname who was like Thought. Was it Top? It was Top. No, no H after the T. So yeah, my one of my first. I can't say my both of them my first because they're together. So I can't have a first. So these are my, you know. So this is the universal grading of a comic book by CGC, world class graders, as they say. Uh, they're the champions in the field, obviously, and everybody knows their quality. And you know, it is what it is. Uh, this is March, March 80th, 1980, 1980. You can see there, 7.5. Don't know what the 7.5 value for that it is now, but I think I paid something about 40 New Zealand dollars. Now, next up. Now, I don't get into, um, like, like I said, I was into this guy when I was in my early teens. I didn't get into this these guys until I was in my late teens. After I'd already got an, I'd already been reading um 2018, Tintin, Asterix, Conan novels, um Clive not Clive was it Clive Barker? I might have gone to Clive Barker. No. I think I was like uh, reading uh Stephen King. And all that stuff and then when i went to, um, moved to another city to live and then to look for work and then i worked for about three years there um and spent like a third of my income on like um on comic books and this these comics books were amongst it but this is from like um 66 so it will be my old maybe it's no i think i've um i might have an older uh older x-men but yeah, so this is an off-white, two white pages, um, 8.0, X-Men number 22, um, July 66. So that's pretty cool. It comes in like the year of plunge. July is the year of plunge. So, oh, the month of plunge, I should say. So this is pretty cool. So I'm quite excited. Um, I've got this it's got normal Rockwell in the back there. Um, so yeah, so these are two, two major... Like probably the kind of amongst two of the most expensive no actually this is the most one um, amongst three of the most expensive comics i have bought hands down uh the the other two are the volume one and volume two of new york comic-con signed walking dead um hard copy my, i'm not sure if it's leather bound 45 issue uh, and I don't like to touch too much because I, I don't know why they did it in a silver pan I wish they just done it inside and not on the cover it's just annoying because it just rubs off guys don't never never do silver pan on the cover man that's just yeah especially on a hard cover because it just rubs off and I'm like I don't know who's you know it slowly it's wearing off and I'm like being very careful so I don't even read it I've never read it like the two like it's 90 issues of like so 45 issues in each volume one and volume two i think it's san diego and the other one or whatever of walking dead series like it's like that thick h so that cost me about three hundred dollars and i bought that as a showpiece for the comic shop um comic trade when i had that in 2014 to 2015. um and yeah so i was there in the show i was like and i think that's when it was like at that point it just become a tv series that came out maybe 15 or a couple of years earlier and so everybody knew what it was but it was just here showpiece and just like this so these will be showpieces at plunge and like i said this is um you know i think this is the year i came to new zealand to be honest 1980. Uh, march 1980 july 66 the month of plunge so yeah, this is cool. It's like weird holding this because I've never, I mean, I have held these, but I've never owned it. And so it's kind of special in that sense. But yeah, I'm going to, yeah, have that on the stall. 
at Plunge or have somebody looking after it and um, just to show people, you know, um, there's the, yeah, that's me for this week, guys. So thank you for joining me. Um, we had the Funko Pop uh, mask with the um, Batman um, play, um, play set, uh, diorama playset or whatever they call it. I don't even know. Uh, my second copy of mask. I gotta figure out who's gonna get the, um, the first copy that I have because I want to keep this one and I might give this to a friend. Uh, I think I have a friend in mind and he does enjoy that sort of art style. So Shane, if you don't already have it, you'll be getting that. Um, and of course, these two beauties. Um, and of course, like I said, I've got to say about this, this is one of my that before Picard, before Discovery, I saw one season of Discovery and that was enough for me, it just didn't feel right. In my, of course, I've, I've seen, I think apart from one episode, I've seen every single episode and movie of Star Trek. Yeah, I think I need to see um, gen New Generation again. Um, but it's better than watching whatever they have got now. Uh, yeah, a Brave New World, I don't even know if Brave New World is going to be anything. I might watch the first episode just because of Star Trek to see if it's anything. But I haven't watched Picard. I just don't not like what they've done with the character from what I've seen, snippets I've seen. Um, but that's me this week, guys. Thank you for joining me for another one of my uh, weekly uh, hunts and hauntings of um, uh, secondhand stores, stores, uh, purchases. And thank you for joining me. And like I said, if you like what I, um, you know, like my videos and what I talk about and stuff, I'm a comic book creator here in New Zealand. Uh, I um, own and run along with a couple of my friends, Plunge Enterprise New Zealand, uh, Plunge Comics New Zealand. Um, you can check us out on www.plungecomics.com. You'll see the, um, the website coming up soon. Also, on just, um, you know, this month we're doing a, a campaign to raise funds for our um, for our company plunge comics to help us do the several things that we're doing in our city and in our country i know as well and then what we do we'll be going out and publish it out in the world with comics and magazines hopefully with the magazines as well but especially with the comics and we've got several coming up later on this year and also with the plunge convention that we run so please check out our our booster.com um uh, campaign uh, crowdfund campaign which is special which is a new zealand based campaign so you know you can help out from all over the world but it helps us out here in new zealand um, as well so thank you for checking us out and um, checking me out and checking out our websites and um checking out those videos um i do these every week because i always go out and look for things every week and whatever i can forget my hands on and whatever falls into my purview which is pop culture and things I love, which is part of pop culture, comic books, manga, anime, animation, movies, sci-fi, film, fantasy, all that stuff, toys, action comics, I mean, action figures, all that stuff. So, and posters, movie posters, I have a bunch of them. It's really hard to display them. So I keep them rolled up because I don't have that much room in my apartment. Um, and there's like, I'm just looking at this, what reminded me, because like right in front of me, there's like about one, two, three, six rolls seven rolls of movie posters and each of them probably have about 30 in them yeah they're getting up there um so thank you so much um so kakite anu like subscribe and wherever you are be safe be well catch you next time